All right, we're going to start doing editing with uh, ArcMap in our catalog, and we're going to learn how to create uh, new shape files, create our own polygons, lines, points, and we're going to start by learning how to create a blank shape file. So the first step is to create a, a, a new feature class, either a shape file or a geo database. We're going to start out with the simplest, which is a, a simple shape file. And the way that Arc works is that before we start editing and creating those features, those polygons or lines or points, I need to create a blank uh, file or container for those to go into. So I'm in my folder here that I want to create this in our catalog. Uh, there's a couple different ways we can create this blank shape file. So I want to show you those and then we'll end up doing this in, in ArcMap. So once I've gotten to the, the folder that I want to create this new file in, um, I, in our catalog, I can go up to File say new go to shape file here that's one way another way is I could right click on this folder say new shape file here second way uh, and then the the way that we're actually going to use is to pull up arc map and the arc catalog uh, pane within arc map find the folder that we're going to put this in and then we're going to create it right in there So I'm going to do the same thing I did in our catalog, right click here, say new, shape file. And then I'm going to get a, a, a one page dialog here where I can make all the settings that I need. Uh, I'm going to make a, a boundary file for my DOQ, so DOQ outline. Now there's a few things that it needs. Uh, shape files can only be points, lines, or polygons. Or multi points or multi polygons, so I need to make sure that I select the right entity type. And I'm going to make a polygon file here. So make sure you've set that correctly. I also need to tell it what coordinate system the uh, these features are going to be stored in. It defaults to unknown. You never want to leave it to unknown. You want to make sure you set it to the coordinate system that you're using. So I'm going to click on the edit button and change this. And then since I've, I've got some other data sets I want this to match, I'm going to use the import button. Go to the folder where I've got these other data sets. And here I'm going to uh, use my ortho uh, my quarter quad here, and I'm going to grab the coordinate system of that. So UTM zone 10, uh, NAD 83. Say OK. A few other settings here for shape files that are um, either for doing routing or networking or for doing 3D stuff. You'll rarely use these, but um, so the most part, um, you can leave these unchecked. Say OK. Uh, and then I notice that I get in my uh, folder a new file called DOQ Outline. And since I've created it in ArcMap, it's automatically added it to my map. So now I have um, a blank thing that I can start editing and creating new polygons in. If I right click here and see the attribute table, I can confirm that there's nothing there. It's empty right now. Um, and if, uh, depending on the attributes I want to create, I may create some new fields here before I start editing so I can add attributes as I edit. Uh, for the moment, we don't need to do that. All right, so we've created a blank shapefile, and in the next couple videos, we'll learn how to do some editing.